Hello, welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by ithelpme.com. In this first part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to create multiple or mass accounts in Active Directory using the bulk account creator. Now in the second part of the video, I'll show you how to do the same thing but using the Excel and importing accounts from the Excel file. Now to find out more information about the software and its features, you may go ahead and go to ithelpme.com, click on service and products, click on software, and on the right hand sub menu, click on active directory. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and open up my active directory users and computers tools, and I want to create the accounts in this container called East, which is a sub OU of San Jose. So this is just a sample container and I'm going to create the accounts in here. So I'll go ahead and minimize this and now I want to open up the software. Now in this first part of this video I'll show you how to create the accounts in the wizard mode. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click. Now it's asking you for four input values. The first one is kind of obvious. It'll be the number of accounts you want to create. So in this case, I'll just say 15. Now the numbers start from, I'll get to that um, in a second, but I want to talk about the base username. What the base username is, is going to create the login name called student, and depending on the number of accounts you create, it's going to go ahead and increment that one by one until it reaches the number of accounts to create. And this number st to start from is important because if we leave it at one, it's going to go ahead and create the first account called student one, the next will be student two, and so on until it reaches number 15. Now if we change this value to three, the first account will, it will create will be student three, next will be four, five, and so on until it reaches uh, or in, until it creates 15 accounts. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this at 1. Leave the base username as student. Now for the fourth input, we need to find out the distinguished name of the container we want to create the accounts in. So in this case, we want to create it under the East container. So we need to find the distinguished name of this folder. So how do we do that? you can either manually type in the syntax of the distinguished name if you know that or for me I like to avoid typographical error so what I need to do is use Active Directory Explorer which is a free tool from Microsoft so I'll go ahead and open that now that it's connected to our Active Directory I want to browse to that particular OU and get the distinguished name I simply copy all of that and erase this example here paste it in now notice that the value San Jose has a space in it we need to enclose any value that has a space inside quotes once we do that we click on next now before it actually creates accounts we need to verify what we've typed in and make sure the values are what we want so it gives you a sample of what it's going to create and it will create them in the OU that you specified. I'm going to go ahead and close out all my other tools so this way it kind of speeds up the process. Notice that on the desktop now well, now it's giving us statistics on how long it took to create 15 accounts. If you notice now, there's a text file on the desktop called account list. It'll create a text file in the same directory as where the script is at. So in this case, it's the desktop. So you notice that it created 15 account and here is the associated password. So you can print this out and hand it to teachers or students. Now if I open up the Active Directory users and computers,
notice the new accounts are there. The great thing about the wizard mode is that it's quick and there's no preparation time to prepare any file to import. But the downside is that it's the bare minimum. It'll create the account with no other user attributes such as first name, last name, and so forth. It only cr creates the login name and the password which we saw in that password file. Um, and that's just enough for the students to log in. If these were in fact real student accounts, typically the student would perhaps need a home folder on the server and this is, can be easily done through the GUI. You can select multiple accounts and do properties and all these attributes you can apply simultaneously to the user and have them or have all the accounts have the same description, office and so on. Now for the home folder you would click on profile and let's say you want to make all the accounts map to the Z drive as their home folder and the server name would be called for instance server1 home and you can set that to percent username and what this variable will do is instead of actually saying percent username it'll go ahead and pick up the individual account and put their name instead of the percent username so if I had click OK let's pretend I click OK I'm gonna hit cancel but if I did if we went back into student 8 their home folder would say Z Drive, Server 1, Home, and instead of percent username, it'll be student 8. And same goes for the remaining student. So that is an effective way to create home folders using the GUI. And same thing for the remaining attributes. If you can do it through the GUI, why not? That's a great way to do it. Now, if each of these accounts needs if these individual accounts needs different uh, description office or what other values and attributes then that's where the powerful and flexible Excel mode comes in and I'll show you how to do that in the second part of the video so stay tuned thanks for watching